I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tavium here, welcome back to another player review and another objective, this time it is arguably the best objective we've been given through Team of the Season, it is Adrissa Gay, it'll be interesting to see actually whether next week with Ultimate Team of the Season, whether we'll be given an objective for a player that already exists, uh, or whether it'll be for a brand new player that sort of missed out that is a honourable mention. That being said though, 93 rated Adrissa Gay is one of those cards that if it was on the market would be worth as much as any other high-end end game sort of CM CDM. You can use him as a box-to-box -box or as a CDM. I myself, 4-2-3-1, stay back while attacking. And, and basically as a CDM. I mean, he did venture forward every now and again. Uh, but yeah, it uh, it just makes sense to use what he's he's good at doing. And of course, he does have a high defensive work rate. And he's already got some really good defensive stats. He's not exactly amazing in the air, but that's not really neither here nor there. Because no one really crosses the ball. He's never going to need to head the ball unless it's from a direct goal kick or a kick out of the keeper's hands or whatever it may be. That's the only situation I can envisage him needing to head the ball. Maybe a, a corner, but if he's on stay back while attacking, theoretically he shouldn't be going forward. Three star, three star. Oh, disgusting. Don't like it. Uh, get rid of him. No, of course, he's um, he's not ideal in, in, in that sense, having the three star weak foot, but I'm all right with it. You know, I'm a possession player myself, okay? So, I mean, I've recently transitioned into one. I used to be one back in FIFA 18. FIFA 19 was just a case of lob it down the wings. This season has actually been very similar uh, but then cut inside rather than crossing and then of course uh, recently in the last maybe two or three days I've been learning how to keep possession so to have a three star weak foot's not ideal the other thing that's not ideal before we get into the in-game stats is the lean body type as a CDM realistically what you want is at least average stocky is nice but average is what you want because in that case then he won't get pushed off the ball with the lean body type there is a risk of that happening his strength isn't up there you know and that and that's one of the concerns lean body type with 81 strength is is definitely a concern going into it but as a quote-unquote free card 89 acceleration 86 sprint speed 99 shot power 88 attack positioning with 89 long shots is very good if you do end up playing him more of a you know cm that likes to venture forward or a box to box or whatever it may be that type of of card and that type of player will then benefit from having that shot power that long shot the way that i play with him and, and played with him he's not really going to get those chances in front of goal which is a bit of a waste in a sense but if he ever does end up on the edge of the area with the ability to shoot. We know that he has it in his locker to hit the back of the net. 98 short passing is very nice for just immediate in a straight line sort of stuff. 95 long passing is good. His range of passing, therefore, should be decent. His vision, unfortunately, is only 80. So don't be expecting to rake long, intricate balls 70 yards from one corner of the pitch to the other because the vision probably won't allow it. But you can get some, some pretty good passes off, to be fair. He is very accurate with his uh, with his short passing and pretty uh, decent with his long passing as well so i wouldn't worry about it too much and then of course we start talking about what is just it's it's almost uh, uh no fault really you know you've got 96 agility 94 balance 97 reactions 93 ball control 94 composure you notice i skipped over the dribbling i just kept wanting to say 90 it is 89 dribbling now that is something that for me personally i was okay with because he's not going forward we're gonna start again to the clips now and you can see that he's never really venturing too far forward now and again he'll pick up the ball he'll move forward slightly but more often than not he's going sideways with his passes you know he's not really running into space or anything so i wouldn't worry too much about that dribbling if you're playing him as a cdm if you are playing him as a box to box then a chem style might be the way forward of course i have not really spoken about chem styles you've seen the one that i put on him but the, the, i mean a guardian is kind of what i was leaning toward when i was looking at it but i was thinking is there really any need to bump up the dribbling by five because i'm not bothered about the agility going up to 99 nor the ball control nor the composure because they're both high enough anyway realistically what i want to do is i want to give him 
a nice big vision boost, but then also I was thinking maybe the strength. So I compromised and obviously went with a backbone. You would have seen it. So 99 slide tackle, 99 stand tackle, 99 defensive awareness, 80 heading now with that backbone. And of course, 99 for interceptions. His strength goes from 81 to 86. The other physical stats are already at 99. His short passing has gone to 99 as well as his long passing and the vision goes up to 85 as well as his crossing to 84. So, to be fair, that's not a bad card. And you didn't pay for it as well. I know you paid with your time. I know the old adage. But it's still a free card that will fit a lot of teams. And the reason it'll fit a lot of teams, because there are some decent, and I mean decent, French League players out at the moment. The, the team of the season cards that they released, Verratti, for example. Not actually checked the price of Verratti, incidentally. So even though it's not a Verratti review, it has nothing to do with him. I'm going to go check the price of him right now. So, as I'm recording this, he's a, he's under 100k. For a 95 rated team of the season of Verratti's quality, I know he's 5'5", uh, and he's going to get pushed off the ball because he's got 63 strength, and he's got a short and lean body type, but I, I like him. I think he's fantastic. So, if you get Adrissa Gay and, and Verratti together, you never know. You could have a bit of a party. But, to be honest, this card is a, a very, very good card, considering it's a free one. And like I said, I was concerned going in because I I didn't I didn't really think the lean body type and the fact that his strength... I mean, it's not low. It's much better than the likes of Verratti, who's got 60-something, and it's not in the 70s. It's just creeping into the 80s, and with the chem style, goes up to 86. The lean body type doesn't help him, and you do feel it now and again. That his balance is really good, which is nice, so he doesn't get like pushed off it necessarily. But he's sort of he's he's leaned into, and then that body type does kick in, and he can't quite get the upper body strength needed. There are chem styles out there that you could give if you really wanted to. For example, a Sentinel is not a bad chem style to go for because you do still get the defensive boosts all up to ninety nine. The heading goes to eighty five rather than eighty. So if you're that sort of worried about it then yeah you're fine but um if you're happy to forego the vision and you don't care about boosting that pace or anything the sentinel then gives 10 strength so that goes to 91 i believe that's the highest you can get in terms of a strength boost i'm just sort of clicking through some of the chem styles now just to make sure and it is i mean architect is another one if you're happy with the defensive stats and you you do want that vision boost you get 10 strength and you get 10 vision i would I would only really recommend that if you're looking for more of a central midfield, not necessarily a box-to-box, -box, but just a central midfield player in general, I would maybe recommend that because then you get that refined passing, but you're also then leaning into that strength, which might help with his body type. But that, I mean, I, I've, t I've talked about it a lot and extensively, and that's because it's realistically the only negative I can pinpoint here. He's 5'9", which may not sound like a good thing, but it is because it makes him very agile. His jockeying is fantastic. He cuts off passing lanes very, very well. Natural positioning is very good. With the backbone chem, so of course that uh, defensive awareness goes up to 99. So he's almost faultless when it comes to being in the right place at the right time to attempt to take the ball, whether it be an interception or whether it be a player doing a drag back and he's obviously going to catch him mid-animation. It's the best time to go for a tackle, by the way, is when your opponent is mid-drag back or mid-ball roll or whatever it may be because they can't do anything. And uh, Adressa Gay's uh, aggression helps him get in there and get the ball really well. It, it's one of those cards that if he had better nation links, like for example, if he was French, we'd be laughing in the situation because he would be very easy to link into teams. As it stands, it, like I said, he's not difficult to link into a team because there are a lot of decent French cards and French league cards in particular out there. However, uh, it, it could be easier. And that's probably the only real downside to the card. Lean body type can be problematic if you used him as a CDM and the the nation isn't the best in terms of linking and of course the weak foot yeah would be nice if he had a four star but even someone who plays possession football such as myself if you're not trying to break the top 100 or get elite one or whatever i think adrissa gay is a viable option to go in nearly anybody's team he's he's actually a very very good card and i may have to rethink some of my my midfield in order to fit him in there uh he may actually and i can't believe i'm saying this but he may actually push Kante out of my favorite CDMs. Uh, I, I think Kante, even the base card, is still sensational. Adresage has everything Kante has, but the ability to go forward as well. So, yeah, heard it here first. 
But that's just one man's opinion, and of course you're entitled to your own. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of this card? Have you unlocked it yet? And if you have, what do you think of it? Have you maybe been persuaded to go and do it now that you've watched this review? Let me know what you're thinking. If you have enjoyed the review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.